that. I have all the measurements here so we can work on it. All right, I chose to use the painted poppies. Um, hi, Jean. I, I love this stamp set, especially this image. I don't know why, but I'm drawn to that image a lot. I use this image more than anything else in here. And so I thought it would be perfect for this card. So what you're gonna need first is a real red card base that's five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a fourth. All right, five and a half, eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. And we're gonna fold that. And use your bone folder for a crisp fold. Is anybody doing this along with me? So that I know if I need to kind of take it slow or if people are just watching and gonna do it later. All right, because I did kind of tell everybody. Um, all right, I'm gonna push that to the side. Then you need a piece of gray granite that's three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Um, I sometimes like to have more of the card base showing than just the four by five and a fourth, so I cut it down a little bit. All right, so using, then I chose this DSP. I love this paper for masculine cards. Um, good, Sharon. I'll make sure I don't go too fast. But I wanted to make sure that we could also use it for feminine cards. Um, so I just figured, why not try and see how we um, can use it as a feminine card? The problem I struggle with this is the colors to match it. I tried every brown possible. I tried all the grays. And the one that looked the best was the gray granite. So that's one I chose. So take your DSP piece and add it to your gray granite. I love the bricks and all in this paper. Um, there were two pieces that were in the set that made me buy this paper <laughs> out of all of them. All right, so now we've got that. Next thing you need is your polka dot tool ribbon. All right, and I take and I add my ribbon and then tie my bow. I know a lot of people like to tie their bow. Um, oh, actually, I did with this one. Never mind. We're going to change. So I'm going to show you some hints for how to tie this. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes tying the ribbon and getting the bow going the way you want it to is difficult. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to tie a knot, and I'm going to try to keep it to the side. Pull off a bunch here. So I'm going to tie a knot. And I'm doing a double knot. And then the last knot, you want to pull north, your ends, north and south. I always think of north, south, east, west. And I have found that doing this works. Now, I'm going to show you some hints. If you want your ribbon to go side to side, take your bottom piece, wrap the top piece around, Pull it through. That's why you want it north and south. Can't get my finger in there. Pull it through and then pull it east to west. And it will lay that way. But since I want to go north and south, I'm going to have my bow go up. And I'm going to pull. This piece is flipped underneath. I try to keep my pieces straight. I'm going to pull north to south. Now, I don't want it too tight because I've got to be able to adjust it. This ribbon is really difficult to adjust, but it gives you a, you know, just hold it and keep playing with it is what I do. And then see if you're pulling it north to south, your bow lays north to south. So that's, that's a little hint for you. Pull your bow the way you want it to lay. All right, 
And so then we've got that. Now I am going to pull this over to the side and this piece is going to go on our card. All right, and I'm using the glue. I just got the, um, you're fine, Lisa, um, new seal in. Thanks, Debbie. My girls danced, so I use a lot of bows. Um, and bling because of that. Most people say, I can't tie bows, can't tie bows. Yes, you can, yes, you can. You just have to take your time and learn what works for you. All right, so we've got our card base done. I chose to use the stitch shape and the largest circle, and I cut it out of vellum. All right. Now I'm going to take my image. Thanks, Martinette. Thanks, Tina. I love sharing tips and tricks and things like that. So I'm stamping my image. All right. With, and I use Memento. Yeah, I, I used to tell my customers in Maryland, I said, just take a, a cheap spool of ribbon, sit in front of the TV, and tie bows while you're watching TV at night. All right. I do not have the blends. Um, it's a personal thing for me. I, I feel very strongly about buying the blends when they um, run out you have to throw them away we're filling our landfill too much so i i do all kinds of things with markers and ink and everything else hi cindy okay then take your real real red and i chose to use real red not the poppy and color your image actually i used a real yeah it's real red I was thinking this is really dark, but I think it's just because it's light. And so just simply color it in. Then you're gonna take your scissors and you're going to fussy cut this out. Now some hints when fussy cutting. Do not move the scissors. Move your paper and leave a little edge all the way around. Um, don't try to cut up close. And then don't go all the way down. If you look at this, I didn't go all the way down in there. That is a nightmare waiting to happen. So take and just move your paper. Oops, too big. And I just went down a little bit and then I flipped it around. And it's really not a hard image to cut out. And then what I take and do is I cut off extra pieces because I find it's easier if the pieces around are small. And then I'm gonna cut around the flower head and just keep moving your paper and not your scissors. I think so often people move the scissors and that's where you run into trouble. You wanna use the paper as a guide. And when you get down to the bottom Again, not all the way because you'll cut your two images apart. Now, if you don't want this other one, then just cut all the way down and keep it real simple. But I like the little bud on it. Oh, sorry about that. My trash is here. And they're pretty noisy. I don't know if you can hear it or not. It sounds really loud to me. And then cut off your bottom. And your image is ready. Now... We're gonna put this on with dimensionals and then this goes on with dimensionals, but you wanna do this one first to hide your um, dimensionals on your vellum. So you're gonna put a piece there and a piece here. And I have always cut my dimensionals in half. It's just one of those things 
And then I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna put this little tiny piece down here at the bottom for some support. And this one I'm gonna put on the bud. And that may be too big, it may be showing. And I'll show you how to fix that. All right, then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna remove my backing. Make sure you hold your image when you use your pokey tool to get these off. Or you'll be ripping your paper. All right. Yep, I put my finger in the wrong spot. All right, I'm gonna put this down like so. And if you notice, these are showing through, so just take your pokey tool and pull it down and push down, and it hides it underneath. I don't, there's still a little bit sticking out there. But that's a way to hide it if it gets on there um, and shows. Now, for the next part, you want to flip this over and see if you don't flip this over and do this at the same time, what you end up doing is your um, dimensionals will show through the vellum. So by hiding it, and I just did two on here. I didn't do a whole lot because it doesn't really need a whole lot to hold it in place. And then you take and you add this and then watch your fold line because you don't want to over go over the fold line so that it, it'll fit in your card. And there it is. And you can kind of pull this back a little bit to, so it's closer to the circle. And I wanted to tell you also, make sure you do the inside, oops, I forgot to color that one, and the envelope. Um, it gives the mailman, mail person, something fun to look at. And it just kind of gives your card a finished look about it. So there's my card. Clean and simple, quick and easy. Not hard, great card to use for, like I said, the layout is perfect. Um, thanks, Martinette. You can always use a rectangle here, whatever you want.